Welcome back to Ghoster Coasters, and for all our new watchers, we hope you'll hit that subscribe button by the end of the video. Huge shout out to our channel members, and especially CP Coaster Lover. You guys are what makes this channel great, so if you want a cool shout out, member exclusive videos, and more, be sure to check out our memberships page. There's a link down below. Now for today, dun dun dun. We've done a lot of recent videos on Cedar Point potential plots, needs, area revamps, and more. If you haven't already, be sure to check out our Cedar Point potential plots video. And while you're there, scroll through some other content. You'll find something that you like. Now, to Cedar Point. The park has been gearing up to give us the all-new Top Thrill 2 for 2024, which has everyone excited to visit the roller coast and to get their first visits and rides in on the former Top Thrill Dragster. The excitement is in the air and it has many wondering what Cedar Point could have up their sleeve for the next few years. Today, we're going to dive into Cedar Point through the year 2030 and guess what the park may do next. Come along for a ride and let's get wild with the predictions here. If you have any, be sure to let us know down below. Obviously starting in 2024 here, we can expect what we now know is Top Thrill 2. Some cool events at Cedar Point like Eclipse at the Point. Hollow weekends returning, and more fun on the beach. But is there anything else we can expect? Yeah, I think uh, heading into 2024, the merger should be finalized sometime this year. And that means we may even see some new IPs used throughout the parks. Will ride names change? I think that's pretty unlikely. But will we see DC and Warner characters at the park, maybe? My guess is yes, but probably down the line because I'm assuming it's still Six Flags merch until the merger finalizes. So give or take a few months to maybe 2025, we should see some merch and IPs used? Yeah, I really like that idea. And continuing on, heading into the five year plan here, what are some rides you would like to see the park add? And do you guys think that they'll get rid of any coasters over the next few years? Be sure to let us know down below, all right? Moving on to the first year post Top Thrill 2. Entering 2025, we expect to see the full merger of Cedar Fair and Six Flags coming to fruition. Fast lane or flash pass? Which systems will carry over? How will park passes work? Great news is we don't have to wait forever to find out because it's going to be seen here in the next few months. We also expect 2025 to feature mainly park improvements, small additions or events added, and a sort of down year for the park's development while shoring up some of the much needed TLC, maybe a Raptor repaint up front, retracking Blue Streak a bit, would be awesome to see the park get some vibrant repaints on more coasters. Moving along to Cedar Point 2026. Cedar Point has three kitty areas and features a ton of space in those areas, which leads me to believe 2026 will be one of the biggest midway transformations in decades at the park. Starting off with condensing the Kitty Kingdom area, as it is an amazing area but has so many rides, and let's be honest, Camp Snoopy is awesome but could use a lot of rides. This is where connecting the island and Planet Snoopy comes into mind. Bring together one of the best overall kids areas in the country while also being able to open up valuable real estate for new coaster additions or flat rides perhaps? This would allow for Cedar Point to stake claim as the best kids area if Camp Snoopy was fully brought to life. Yeah, I definitely agree with that notion. And with the recent trends of Kings Island and Michigan's Adventure and Knott's Berry Farm, you kind of see the trend here, updating all of their Snoopy areas, it makes a ton of sense for the park to focus on that next instead of having a widespread collection in three separate areas. 2026 also seems like a good time for more flat rides. I don't know how you guys are feeling about it. Cedar Point doesn't have a ton, so some flat rides would do great there. Whether it be one or an area with more, the recent work with Zamperla leads me down a road and a path of believing that there's flats involved at a later time too. I know Carowinds got some, Kings Island got some. I'm just saying Cedar Point should probably look to Zamperla in the future to get some. Recent work history, Cedar Fair loves them. It all kind of makes sense to us. And just on another note, I kind of think that they might have something big up their sleeves for 2026 just because of the fact that the Top Thrill 2 was not anything planned. They did move up the boardwalk plans, 
so that they could offset everything that was going on. So we might get a surprise in 2026. Who knows? Yeah, something maybe on Adventure Island over there. Is that what you're thinking? Yep, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Trust me, I would love to see a wooden coaster over there and everything else. That would be fantastic. Wouldn't it, though? It's a great idea. Let us know what you guys think about that. I'm not sure about it. She's, you know, up in the air with all of this, too. So let us know what you guys think will happen in 2026. There's some, you know, disagreements and agreements here, so... I think overall park improvements, it'd be awesome to see Adventure Island get done up. I love yeah. that idea. So, see the point? I, hey. I totally agree with the condensing of the kids' areas. Like, I do think that is something on the top list. Yeah, it would be awesome to see because, I mean, there's just three of them widespread throughout the park. But moving on to 2027. Heading into the 2027 season, Cedar Point will still be riding high off of Top Thrill 2's success. Hopefully. Yep. And gearing up for some major changes to the midways for decades to come. The beach boardwalk was a hit for the 2023 season, but we did hear plenty of people discussing the want for more from the overall area. Now, remember when we said condensing Kitty Kingdom was a good idea? Well, here's what the real estate comes into play. Cedar Point adds a midway coaster that gives a beach boardwalk feeling while also adding capacity to the park and another addition for everyone in the family to ride. Let's say a beach wooden coaster. Now I'd prefer a wooden coaster back in Frontier Town. Forbidden Frontier, Dolbert's fling areas to be entirely clear, but a beach boardwalk coaster would not be bad and they take up smaller footprints such as Ghost Rider at Knott's. That would be an amazing coaster to walk into after Raptor, having Raptor on one side with a wooden beast on the other in between the arcades. That would be really, really cool. I also think a single rail would do wonders here, but capacity purposes, who knows? I do think it could work here, though. You know, Six Flags Great Adventure has one. There is definitely a, a space for it. I'm just saying. But moving on to 2028. Cedar Point has forever changed its midways at this point and added some great additions over the years. So what else could we see the park do? 2028 would seem to be another down and prep year for future additions. And we may see the fall of Dolbert's Fling or Snake River Falls by this time. A lot of people say corkscrew, but doubtful with the low cost for operation and small plot. Gemini gets mentioned a lot, but I believe a new ride system would do wonders back there too cut into workers needed to operate the ride and a lot more. Yeah, you could, you know, think gatekeeper-esque instead of two positions to send the trains and more people checking riders and at the exits, etc. I think most rides would be safe for the time being as they've removed quite a bit over the past few decades. There is potential almost every year for flat rides, so 28 we could also see, you know, more additions to the amusement capital. I keep hammering this home. Something like Tundra Twister at Canada's Wonderland would be phenomenal for the park. It's something different. It's thrilling. It's huge. And they don't yes. have something like it. Max Air is close. They don't have anything that flips like that, though. And does, I mean, it's just insane. So something like Tundra Twister, maybe. I don't know. Let us know what you guys think about the flat rides for 28 as well. Flying into 2029, we expect to see some major changes over by the Iron Dragon area. The celebration stage creates a lot of havoc during busy times at the park, and the whole fence wall with the taco trucks area is quite bland. Probably the least inspiring area of the park or theme, to be honest. Our good friend CP Coaster Lover had recently mentioned moving the stage where the old Scrambler and Matterhorn used to be, which would be awesome. Coming right down the midway, right before it separates off, heading towards Top Thrill 2 or Millennium Force, it's the perfect area, the sky ride coming over where you get off watching the stage. There would be so many cool views if that happened. We also expect to see some prep of that area as a whole leading into the 2030 season where Millie turns 30 and the park is hitting its 160th milestone. Moving on to 2030, the old dorms, the midway that used to feature the Good Times Theater, Wildcat, and the bumper cars, now has Valraven occupying part of it, some food trucks, and well that's it. As mentioned before, moving the celebration stage creates a need for an area revamp that's already kind of needed as is. Celebrating Millie's 30th, the park's 160th, I think the area could be a major focus come 2030. A new coaster in that area would be amazing. Spinner, single rail, whatever you want to add. 
would look amazing on the shores of Lake Erie between Val Raven and Millie sitting across from Iron Dragon. Yeah, I definitely agree. Could you just imagine something else in the I mean, Wildcat it, was so cool over there. It was. I loved Wildcat. And I, I miss the area being like that. To be honest, Wildcat was better than the Wild Mouse right now, but I'm just... I'm just ranting here, guys. Let and us know what you think about this of course, remember that idea. these are just some guesses with a little bit of opinion behind them, and we very well could be wrong on every single idea here, and that's definitely what's okay. It makes coaster prediction discourse fun and enjoyable. Everyone has a vision for the park's future, so please right. share your ideas down below. We'd love to hear what others think, as we're sure there's plenty of great opinions and ideas out there that none of us even thought of yet. An idea is crazy until someone makes it happen. Be nice, be kind to each other, and leave them comments down below, guys. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. It greatly helps the channel, and we definitely couldn't do all this without all of you wonderful coaster ghosters. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost to 2,000 subscribers, guys. 2,000 coaster ghosters out there. That is insanity to us. Join the spooky fun if you haven't already, and let's all ghost some more coasters in 2024. This is Jared. And this is Stacy from Ghoster Coasters. And as always, thank you for being a part of this spooky community and for, for Coaster, Coaster Ghosting, Ghosting with Ghoster Coasters. Coasters. Have a Six Flags Day, everybody. At America's Rock and Roller Coast. Woo woo! Happy New